guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> A bunch of you have asked me for my recipes, so I decided to make it a thing to show a different recipe of a special food I make. So today we're going to be making stuffed shells with asparagus and salad, so it's going to be like an Italian night. And if you already have it, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and comment down what other types of recipes you'd like to see on my channel. So let's start cooking and to see the list of the ingredients check out the description below. I have the water boiling for the jumbo shells which is our main ingredient. While I wait for it to start boiling I'm going to go ahead and start doing the filling for our shells. So basically the filling is going to consist of ricotta cheese and basil pesto. This is the best pesto in the world from Costco, not an ad. And the rest that I use to like season it is basil, pepper, garlic, and salt. So I went ahead and already put about a spoonful to three spoonfuls of ricotta. And now I'm adding about one big spoonful of pesto. Then you can go ahead and mix it up together until you get this very pastel looking green color. Now for the seasoning, I like to eye it to my personal taste, so you can do the same. I put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of basil, and a little bit of garlic powder, all about the same amount of each. the seasoning go ahead and mix it up again so that it is evenly distributed okay so now that our water is boiling I'm gonna go ahead and put about 13 shells for two people and I'm gonna let that boil for about 8 to 10 minutes and I already preheated the oven to 375 so I washed the asparagus make sure to wash your veggies and I put some olive oil on the pan and now I'm gonna spread them out to season the asparagus, I like to add some butter to the pan. This gives it a really good buttery taste. Then I go ahead and add some minced garlic. I also add salt to taste, pepper to taste, and basil to give it that final touch. To like medium heat and give it about 10 to 12 minutes. So our shells are ready, so I'm gonna go rinse them out. And then while they cool off, I like to prepare my base. Make sure you have a glass container to put in the oven. So I use red sauce, I use it as my base in the pan. I get about two spoonfuls and I spread it around. This will help so that the shells don't stick. So since the shells are now cold, I'm gonna go ahead and start filling them up with our filling. I like to put about half to one full spoonful inside it and then I just place it in our pan. So like I just said, I like to put one to two full spoonfuls inside the shells, make it full but not overly full, and then I just start placing them in the pan. Okay, so now that I have them all set in the pan, I like to add some extra cheese to spice it up. I'm not filling them all with cheese because the other person eating doesn't eat too much cheese. And then I add some extra sauce on top. 
the amount of sauce to put is really just depending on your personal taste. I am a sauce kind of girl, so I will put a good amount of sauce on them. And our shells are good to go to the oven. So now they're ready to go to the oven. We'll set it for about 20 minutes. So, the pasta's done. Made the shells. And our asparagus is done too. So, we're ready to eat up. I'm gonna set the plate and then I'll show you guys. Okay, now I've, I've chopped the salad, it's in the bowl. I'm adding the balsamic vinaigrette and a little salt to give it that extra touch. <laughs> a little more sodium. <laughs> sodium! Then just mix all of your ingredients in the salad bowl. And that's our plate. Got the stuffed shells, the asparagus, and my salad. Can't wait to try it, it looks so good. Pair it with your favorite glass of wine. I got mine ready. Buen provecho. See you on the next video. Bye. I clicked the button, you think it took my photo? It's recording. Oh my gosh. It's been recording.